everyone welcome back if you're new here my name is jess and i'm starting another vlog doing a weekend trip to cape may which is a really cute beach town in new jersey all the way at the bottom and i've been here before i've vlogged it twice i believe so check those out if you haven't here's my little ootd i have these both top and bottom were bought secondhand on Poshmark, but the top is actually from Zara. The shorts are Abercrombie Curve Love, uh, high-waisted shorts. These are the four inch mom shorts that I love, how they're longer. I will see you guys when we get down to k -May. We just got here to the condo and it looks like it might actually rain soon. But hopefully it doesn't but if you want to walk around and figure out food a lot of the restaurants are pretty booked so if you are coming on a weekend definitely make reservations but it kind of looks like there's gonna be a nice sunset i'm just gonna meet my aunt at the yacht club that they go to for dinner I switched into jeans because it was getting a little chillier here. Wow. Oh yeah, it's just a huge spot. It's supposed to rain. Hi vlog. Morning, next day now, Saturday, and we're gonna go to the beach. We're gonna get breakfast now. They have a pliables here too, which is exciting. They didn't have that last year, so I know that's new. It's like right on the boardwalk area. They also have the Aloha Smoothie Company, which we like going to here. George's place is really good. So we're just gonna figure out exactly what we wanna eat. We might actually just get pliables. They have the cutest beach homes and bed and breakfasts here. A lot of the homes here are like Victorian style cottages and they have this really nice architecture. We're gonna get some subs from Wawa for lunch because it's already three, we haven't ate. And George's place actually closes in the middle of the day, so we were able to get it. But we're just gonna get some good old subs. We're gonna eat our subs and then get ready, walk around the Washington Square Mall, I think. And we're thinking of what we wanna do for dinner later, but we had a nice beach day. I literally reapplied sunscreen so many times and I feel like I still got a little burnt. It's definitely, like intense high UV today. We had lunch, just got ready. Just got this cute shirt from Aritzia actually. And it was in their like sustainable materials collection. Um, and I got it on sale. So I think it's cute. Got my little necklace on that my aunt gave me. I wanna go to the KMA Peanut Butter Company. I love that place. They have homemade peanut butter, like peanut butter cookies. Um, just really good stuff. So if you're in the Washington Square Mall in K-May, definitely stop at the K-May Peanut Butter Co. Walking around and good food for our evening. That's the plan. Q 
here's Congress Hall. Congress Hall, it's so pretty. I always love this building, it's the baby thing. It has a bunch of shops inside, but it's so cute on the outside. walk through Congress Hall, beautiful there, and we're gonna get the K-May Peanut Butter Company. I just want a cookie, honestly. So we're gonna see what they have today. Literally so much peanut butter. These are so good, a peanut butter cookie with a homemade peanut butter cup in it. Yes. Are you the happiest face in K-May? I'm the happiest peanut butter. <laughs> the happiest peanut, peanut butter cup? The peanut, aren't I peanut? Mmm, so good. <laughs> the store smells amazing, oh my gosh. We just got to the Harborview restaurant. We're gonna see how long the wait is, but we like to sit outside because they have like a patio dock kind of area where you basically seat yourself. They have sushi, burgers, crab cake sandwiches, um, nachos, like they have a lot of stuff, wings. That was close. We had our dinner at um, the Harbor View. We weren't able to get the sushi, which is the best thing to get there, I think, because there was like a huge backup with the orders. So we ended up getting crab dip, which was pretty good. And I got a crab cake sandwich and then we shared that. And he got chicken parm and it was all right. But yeah, I would definitely recommend if you're going to the Harbor View, just getting like the seafood or sushi. I feel like that's what they make better there. And we just did golf at mini golfing at he just Kate May Miniature Golf. And that was fun. We're gonna go to the Washington Square Mall now. It's 10, it's like 10.30 right now, so it's getting late. We're gonna go over there, and I think we're gonna get Ben and Jerry's, just get some ice cream, and probably just call it a night. And then tomorrow, I think we're gonna have a fun day, explore West Cape May, hopefully, and go on the boat. It's the next morning now, Sunday. It's our last day here. We're gonna go check out this farm and they're supposed to like provide breakfast, have like market, like cute little farm area. So we're gonna check that out. Try to get some breakfast there and then we're gonna go on the boat later. I think it'll be a good day. It's really nice out again, like 18 sunny. Yeah, we're just trying to make the most of our last day here in K May. It's called Beach Plum Farm and there's literally like chickens roaming around the parking lot as you're driving in. There's cottages here that you can stay in, I believe, and um, a market, fresh produce.
picnic tables here and you could order food. So many chickens. This looks so good. Arm to table food, cheesy grits, egg sandwiches, and we have chicken right here. <laughs> These chickens are up close and personal. Hello? Hi. <laughs> really good breakfast here. It's all farm to table, farm fresh. Uh, we had breakfast sandwiches, like egg sandwiches, and the chickens are literally like just roaming around like as you're eating. It's so funny. And one of them tried to eat my sandwich and I got scared, but it's honestly so cute. This place is a really cool. I definitely recommend Beach Plum Farm in Cape May, West Cape May. Um, but we're trying to walk around now. There's a little market store. It's like gardens, a lot of flowers around, herbs. So we're trying to walk around. Oh, you can literally eat at these tables too, like right in the garden. Here's the chicken coop. There's so many of them. <laughs> this has now turned into like a little hike. <laughs> That trail just took us back to the parking lot for the entrance. So I just went in a little circle. We have a bunch of tomatoes here. Back from Beach Plum Farm. Definitely worth checking out. They have really good farm to table food. And we walked around, they had like a lot of flowers and gardens, animals. But now we're gonna go on the boat and I'm excited just to relax.
lunch at the wharf in a while, but we had we all got tacos. We had fish tacos and shrimp tacos, and it was very good. We're gonna take the boat back now to Cape May, but the sun just came out, and that was really nice. Just got back from the boat ride it was a lot of fun great lunch um we just are packing our stuff up because we're gonna be leaving soon but we are gonna get dinner here so we're gonna walk around i got these fresh homemade chocolate chip cookies from the beach plum cafe we went to earlier and they look so good three giant cookies in here oh my god these actually are huge oh my god this is so big compared to my head these are huge 10 out of 10 recommend anything from that bakery cafe. We walked around the Washington Street Mall and now we're gonna get sushi. We're gonna go to a sushi place in Cape May Courthouse. And then we're just going to go home from there. But yeah, we've had a great weekend here in Cape May. Beach, boat, good food, the farm this morning. And yeah, I just love coming here. I've been coming here for so many years. We're driving home now, so I'm going to end the vlog off. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this little Cape May weekend in my life. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope to see you all in my next video.